Hello wonderful people and welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with Ivan Sambo. And today we are talking about investing into platinum. It's a conversation that a lot of people don't have and I believe we need to talk about how exactly can you invest into platinum? What are the advantages and disadvantages? At the same time, does it need you to have too much money to do so? Guys, do remember that my podcast doesn't constitute as financial advice but only for educational purposes so on wasting any time guys let's get into this episode Hello, future millionaires and billionaires. As I said, welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with Ivan Sambu. Today, we are talking about why, how, and should you invest into platinum in South Africa and what ways can you go about to ensure that you're investing into this industry. Today, I don't have my tablet. It did, I did not charge it, so I'll be using my phone that has all my notes. So I keep on looking down. I'm just referring to my phone, but I don't have my tablet today. So let's start with the advantages of investing into platinum, guys. So platinum as an industry, it has high demand. So it is an industry that has a huge demand. Platinum plays a huge role in the manufacturing of cars in the world, which approximately 40% of the global platinum demand come from the automotive industry, meaning that cars demand platinum in large number, making platinum one of the most needed um needed resources to produce cars in the world and at the same time because of the lot of environmental regulation around manufacturing cars majority of manufacturers of car are regulated and forced by government to uh, use platinum for a lot of their product um, processes they use when producing cars so cars demand a high uh, 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 demand of platinum and that makes it so much of a Pressure, precious a mineral to be mined at the same time guys the supply of it is a little bit low because south africa produce around 70 percent of the world's platinum forcing everyone to look into south africa to produce that platinum that is needed so those two things the demand and what it is used for make platinum a very good investment because you know 40% of the world's car producers need platinum. So you know there is a demand for it. There is a need for platinum to be there. Secondly, South Africa, our own country produces 70% of the world's uh, platinum, meaning that you have a very much entry level access to the platinum because it's coming from South Africa. And thirdly, guys, another advantage about investing into the platinum space is because it will help you diversify your portfolio, reduce the amount of risk that you may have when you are investing into different things, knowing that in the mining sector, you're also in platinum. And when there's a huge increase in the price of platinum, you know you're eating very happily, guys. So... Also, guys, another market for platinum as well, it is jewelry. The jewelry market of platinum is also rapidly growing, guys, which is estimated and currently the global uh, jewelry demand for platinum has increased by plus minus 20%, sitting at around 387 billion. That's the value of the platinum jewelry market in the world, meaning there is a huge demand for it. So you need to enter and be in that space. But as always, guys, there's always a negative, a disadvantage into any field that uh, exists. Number one, when it comes to platinum, one disadvantage for it is that it is volatile, guys. The price goes up and down like no one's business. It's not very easy to predict the performance of this market, this industry, platinum. So if you're someone that doesn't have patience, you will not survive the ups and downs that this field has. Secondly, guys, it's market liquidity. 
there's few companies that are in the platinum space and most of them are concentrated here in south africa meaning that the demand chain the supply chain demand can be easily um are, are, are broken and can be and can kill the market because of a few companies that exist meaning that if one company go into a strike the price of platinum can fall if two or three if the entire mining trading union south africa says we're going on a strike the supply and demand of platinum can be in so much trouble and you may lose the value of your money so that's the two i will bring up in terms of the disadvantages now let's look at investment opportunities how can you invest into platinum guys there are three ways yeah three <laughs> three ways in which that you can invest into platinum right number one is etf exchange of traded funds that are listed in the jse that focus on platinum we have the one invest platinum etf which for the past six months have seen an increase of around 11.3 percent meaning it's performing very well it's performing above inflation and that's just only for the past six months of this year um and at the same time, it is an ETF that many people want to go into mining love, especially they're looking for platinum focus ETFs. Listen in the chase in, meaning if you have a broker like Easy Equity or One Invest itself or any other JSE app that allows you to invest in the JSE or ProStock, you can invest into this ETF called One Invest ETF platinum which have seen 11.3 percent growth in the past six months the second way you can invest into the platinum space is using what is known as a um etn and etn is a note basically they're also available listed in the jse easy equity and other notary suppliers have it um and it's called the new wave platinum etn it's available in the jse guys and for the past six months you've seen a growth of around eight 8.3 percent performing very well guys the second way in which you can invest into um platinum in south africa to invest into mining companies that are focused into the platinum space itself right for example we're looking at impala platinum holdings which for the past six months have seen over 30 percent growth in the jse um you can look into the northern platinum company as well which have seen 15 percent growth you look at the Sabaya still water have seen 18 percent growth in the jse so those are jse listed companies that are in the mining space but are focused into platinum or have platinum as part of their operation or they have mines that are focusing on mining platinum and that's are the two ways i've been through with the etf the etn as well as jse listed mining companies that are focusing on platinum that you can use to uh, invest into the mine in the platinum mining space as i said guys brokers give you access to all those jse listed companies as always guys how did you find this episode was it helpful was it able to shape your way the way you see investments especially into the platinum space guys until next time do ensure to leave me a comment leave me a review about what you think about the podcast how can we grow what topics can we cover until next time guys happy investing